Hi everyone. I love the word spontaneous, if I'm pronouncing it properly. And how to be that way, I think is another incredible thing. But we can't always be spontaneous all of the time because you know, we, we have a routine, we, you know, if you're working, if you're a mom, but, or a dad, you know. But sometimes I believe we need to be spontaneous for ourselves to get a little bit of a laugh in, in a sense, or to say to ourselves, I was spontaneous, I had the courage. I had the courage to believe in myself, I could do it. It may not be perfect, but I did it. You know, it's, it's like someone saying to me, um, Lorna, I've always had this inkling to, you know, do a triathlon. I think that's what they call it. It's a whole load of sports in one. It's running, it's swimming, it's climbing, it's all kinds of things and all kinds of weather. And they said they never had the courage. But then one day they got the courage and they just said, you know, I kept hearing that voice, go and do it, go and do it. Don't, don't think about what anyone else thinks or believes. And that was being spontaneous, you know, going out and giving it a go, giving it a try and enjoying it. Because to be spontaneous at different times in our lives means that you must enjoy it as well. Now you probably could be full of fear as well, excitement, but it's to go and do it. It's like, um, I, I remember again, a, a man in his 40s and he's saying, Lorna, I'm going to go off and do something that everyone is going to say is crazy at my age. And I looked at him and said, you're only a young man. But he didn't consider himself young. But he went off and did it. He was spontaneous and he did something that I wouldn't do. So I'm just going to tell you, he... I don't know what you call it, but he jumped from a height with a rope around his ankle or something like that. And you know, the way you go bouncing up and down. That took courage, that took confidence, and it took belief in himself. So to be spontaneous is not just to, you know, it's not just a trivial thing because it helps to give you that belief in yourself and that courage. It helps you to overstep fear. But you must do it for yourself. To be spontaneous, it has to be for you. It can't be to show off to everybody else about something you're doing. You know, even to be spontaneous to, can be something that other people might think is, is nothing. But to you, it is something big. And the excitement of it, of going forward and doing it, or listening to the voice of your guardian angel, that feeling that you're getting, that you can do something. Um, it's like someone that is not an artist, okay? And just all of a sudden, you know, they're, they don't even know they're listening to their guardian angel. They don't even know that this message has been given to them to be spontaneous. And all of a sudden, a thought comes into their head and they're questioning it, and they're thinking it's crazy. 
but the thought keeps nagging at them and they get more and more excited about it and they give it a go. They say, what does it matter? I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to let go of myself. You know, and we don't let go of ourselves enough. And what the person did, what this, this young man did, he um, covered the floor in his house with newspapers. I don't know what age I was at the time, but he had covered his floor. And he got some old cans of paint that were knocking around and he just kind of splashed them everywhere. And I remember laughing and giggling because I was looking in the window and there he was. I hope his clothes weren't good clothes, but there he was rolling in the paint and the colors that he had scattered on the newspapers. But he'd done something spontaneously to enlighten, light up his life, to suddenly help him to feel he's alive. So if you today or tomorrow or even in a month's time feel spontaneously in any way that you're getting a message, and once it doesn't put you in danger or anyone else in danger, or I would say, once it doesn't harm nature, go and give it a go. It could even be a simple one of writing a poem. You know, it could be a simple one of, you know, making a phone call or going out to a cafe and starting to talk to a stranger. It could be a simple one of being spontaneous, walking down the street and saying hello to everyone with a big smile on your face. You can imagine being spontaneous in that way is again, lighting a spark within your life, but again, with everyone that you have touched. So be spontaneous and don't be afraid of it, but always remember, make sure it's safe. I don't want you to, you know, jump off a building or anything like that. But again, when, when, I, say, when I say that, when sometimes I see some people giving something a go and being spontaneous about it, like, you know, deciding I'll jump from a plane with a parachute and all your friends are saying you're crazy. Don't do that. But you want to do it. And you know why you want to be spontaneous? Because you want to feel alive. You want to feel the adrenaline in your body, your human body. You want to feel the excitement. You want to feel the love. And you even want to feel, how would I say, the fear as well. But it fills you with love and confidence and belief in yourself. And it's like when you have done it, like, like the man rolling in the paint, you know, that he had scattered on the, pa on, the, on the paper. I can imagine because I laughed as a child looking in at him. How much that actually helped to fill him with belief in himself and confidence. So if you want to be spontaneous, you know, in the next few days or weeks or months, go ahead. I think it will do you good. Listen to your guardian angel because I'm asking your guardian angel to give you that feeling to do something that is spontaneous so that you feel life within yourself. So I'm going to say God bless and love you and bye bye.